just thought I'd uh, share some uh, a new project that I uh, that I just started. It's a uh, NorCal Sierra multiband QRP rig, uh, an old school rig from I believe the 1970s. Um, I picked up the PCB from FastCircuits.net. Uh, I'll include the link below. Uh, the document that I'm working off is uh, a document that I found on ARRL. Um, so here's the uh, the circuit diagram. It's a, uh, a QRP rig, as I mentioned. Uh, it uses uh, SA602s as the mixer, and it includes a MC1350 uh, as IF amplification. The IF itself is uh, 4.915 megahertz. Um, the FET is uh, uh, the, sorry, the VFO is a it's a FET-based VFO. You can see it down here. And off to the left there is a receiver incremental tuning circuit associated with it. Um, the board's double-sided, um, and I'll just uh, sort of move over to it so you can see that. It's double-sided, as you can see. But unfortunately, it's not through-hole plated, so it kind of makes it a bit of a pain. Um, yeah, you have to solder both sides, of course, and, uh, and then there's... The routing is done between the top and the bottom of the boards by uh, com the components that are actually soldered in place. So, uh, so it's a bit of a, it's going to be a bit of a pain, and uh, obviously you can't. It's difficult to use uh, IC sockets with this, so I have to, I'll have to solve the ICs in place. Um, what else is going on here? Um, so I, I just uh, sort of the plan of attack for the um, for the for the circuit itself is uh, I'll start with. Uh, the um, the audio side, which is uh, which is over here, um, and then uh, build up the product detector and uh, the BFO. So that includes the uh, uh, the IF amplifier, the MC thirteen fifty, and then there's an SA six hundred two there. And you can see that uh, there's an oscillator associated with that at four point nine one five megahertz. So I should be able to test all that up. Uh, I've got a little. Uh, I've got a little uh, crystal tester over there, and that will emit uh, that will emit uh, the 4.915 uh, signal that I can then pick up and test that component. Uh, once I've done that, I think I'll move over to the VFO itself and build that up. So build up the, uh, the FET-based VFO, build up the RIT, um, and then uh, you know obviously it, uh, it starts to get a bit more difficult because. Um, the kit itself comes with, uh, you can see here there's an edge connector along here and the edge connectors for these multiple band modules that you build up for each of the bands, 40, 20 meters and so on and so forth. I don't have any 50 uh, pin edge connectors. Um, the edge connector itself is uh, 3.96 millimeter pitch. Uh, fortunately eBay does have them so uh, I've put in an order for those but uh, a lot of this stuff on this kit is uh, pretty old school, so uh, I uh, definitely will see uh, having to pick up some more stuff uh, as time goes by. Now the, uh, the, the VFO runs off a, air, air, a variable cap capacitor, that's uh, down here. Now I don't actually have anything like that. Uh, I do have some air variable capacitors. Uh, this one here is probably the one I'll use for it. Uh, the capacitance range is about the same on this is actually a four or five range um, uh, variable capacity here. The capacitance range for one of them is about the same as this uh, as this transmitter. So uh, it's going to be a bit of fun to, to build up. Uh, as you can see, I've just started uh, with the, the, the power section here. There's a 78L08 there and uh, some diode protection, but it uh, should be a bit of fun. I'll uh, uh, add more videos as I, uh, as I go through the project and... Um, uh, hopefully uh, I'll get a uh, working transceiver at the end of it. Uh, that's all for the moment. Bye-bye.